Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, unpouching, and first impressions of the Maverick Concepts Miller. This is a knife that I'm super excited about. Um, I was trying really hard to get my hands on one. The first time I saw it, I thought, yes, I, I need one. I need to find one. And I kind of lucked out, um, finally got my hands on one. So we'll go ahead and talk about this. This is his uh, latest model, by the way. Um, and we'll go ahead and talk about you know who who's behind Maverick Concepts and all of that. And we'll get the knife unpouched in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So let's get this out of the way. And let's talk about Maverick Concepts. So as far as I know, it's a one-man band. It is Nick Marshall. He's the guy behind Maverick Concepts. Um, and I've actually met him a couple times in person at CCKS. Um, seems like a very cool guy. He does incredible work. Phenomenal, phenomenal, integral custom knives. And I think that's what his specialty is. Um, these just crazy, crazy integrals. And what's even crazier is he's doing everything by hand. Um, and that's not to take anything away from people who use CNC machines. There, there's a few different ways to make a custom knife. And by the way, I, I consider this a custom knife as well. And everyone has their own definition of what is a custom knife, but he's making 100% by hand integral customs, which I think is wild. And um, I've had the chance to check out his work in person and handle some of them um, at CCKS. And they are just, it's just crazy stuff. Really incredible knives. So um, he, you know, he's, he's doing everything by hand, no CNC machining um, until now. So he, he came up with this new model, his latest model called the Miller, and this is CNC machine. So he is CNC machining the scales and then he's grinding the blade. So he's doing everything himself, um, but he is using CNC for this knife, for this model. So let's go ahead and get this unpouched. Ooh, what do we have in here? All right, we have a sticker. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Insane. Wow. All right. We have the Miller, and then there's some, anything else in there? No, really nice pouch. Go ahead and get the pouch set aside. Maverick Concepts, nice kind of cardboard, thick. Is this two things? No, that is one thing, okay. Um, model, Miller, serial number 11. So he has not made that many of these. As soon as I saw him post about it, I think it was on Instagram, um, I was I was like, whoa, 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 I need one. And uh, he was doing them uh, via lottery. I'm not sure, if I had to guess, I would say maybe there's like 15 of these made so far. Uh, but anyway, number 11, blade steel, magnet cut, handle material, we got titanium, copper pivot collar, which I'm not normally a fan of, but I think that looks incredible. And then we have camo carbon, carbon fiber in that unbelievable blue. Whoo, come on. This is a crazy knife. All right, um, completed on 11, 10, 2022. 20, this is a very special knife. I can already tell that this is one of those knives that, um, you know, you sometimes you get knives I know you guys are waiting for me to open the knife. Um, sometimes you get knives and you think, yeah, this is great, um, but maybe I'm gonna sell it. Or you get a knife and you're like, yeah, it's not for me. This this is one of those knives. Every once in a while you get a knife that you think, yeah, I'm, I'm never selling this thing. You know, this is just part of the collection. This is like a key core piece of my collection now. Wow. And that's just that's just from aesthetics alone. <laughs> let's, let's get this guy opened up and see if the action's any good see see what we're working with oh yeah oh yeah wow i'm excited i'm really excited i don't know if you guys can tell i'm really excited about this nice nice feels very hollow to me super smooth super smooth so i'm pretty i'm like 99 sure this is on bearings Yep, but it feels kind of like that kind of 
gliding, um, almost like that washer action, kind of control that controlled close. Yeah, I like it. Um, wow. Let's take a look at the milling pattern. So again, these are uh, CNC machine by Nick Marshall. I, I keep wanting to call him Nick Miller. Nick Marshall. Um, and then he's doing all the finishing work. He's grinding the blades by hand. Whew. Come on. Let's see how it feels in hand. Yeah, I really like that little thumb ramp. This is not a huge knife. I'm not gonna do any size comparisons in this video, but for my full review, I definitely will. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, it feels very comfortable. Um, the only thing that I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling right away is the clip, but I'm, I'm kind of picky with my clips. It's just, uh, just a little pokey on that edge, but it's very cool that there's no clip hardware. So it must, be, yeah, so there's some internal hardware there. So nothing on the outside of the clip. A little logo action on the lock bar relief. Nice back spacer. It's very sleek and slim, and then you get that kind of tall blade grind. Some nice magna cut. Thumb studs feel good. So this, you know, when he's doing everything 100% by hand and it's an integral, the price tag obviously is gonna go way, way, way up. Um, but when you have something that's CNC machined, even though he's doing all the work himself, but he's CNC machining the scales, um, it is more affordable, more affordable than, than a crazy custom integral. And yes, I definitely consider this a custom knife. It is handmade um, with, you know, with a CNC machine. CN, CN, CNC machine. Um, anyway, uh, these go for, I'm guessing, or I'm trying to remember, I think like 800 to 1,000. So not a cheap knife by any means, not an inexpensive knife, but for what you're getting, which is a custom built knife by an incredible maker, um, for me, this is 100% worth it. 100% worth it. Um, first impressions, amazing. I love it. Looks, aesthetics, ergos. Man. Um, and I will be at um, CCKS in the spring. So that's, well, it's their spring show, but it's next month. So um, hopefully Nick will be there as well. I can talk with him again. First impressions, solid. It has been unpouched. I think that just about covers it. I will get this guy in pocket and we will see about a full review in a few weeks. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you later.